call to the honourable member for McKellar. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister for Environment and Water. Minister, a renewable economy must be a circular economy. Solar panels, wind turbines and lithium batteries have an end of life, and we cannot afford to trade one environmental problem for another. According to the CSIRO, Australia is only recycling 10 per cent of its lithium batteries. What is the government doing to ensure solar panels and lithium batteries are recycled here in Australia? Give the call to the Minister for the Environment and Water. Uh, thank you so much, Mr Speaker, and thank you so much to the member for McKellar. She's absolutely right on two fronts. Australia has to be a circular economy, and we've got a real issue with solar batteries, uh, solar panels and batteries from the solar industry. Of course, it's fantastic that more people are putting solar on the roof. We've got about 3 million Australian households and businesses that have got solar panels on the roof now. They're saving money for themselves. They're saving about a thousand bucks a year for an average family. They've reduced emissions by close to 18 million tonnes in 2021. Fantastic achievement. And about 8 per cent of the energy going into our national electricity grids Thanks. coming from Thanks. rooftop Thanks. solar. Great, great, great. Thanks. But we know that these systems last you know, a couple of decades if they're going well. And if we don't change what we're doing now, by 2030 there will be about uh, a quarter of a million tonnes of this material in landfill. Now, that's bad because the, the panels and the batteries contain valuable uh, metals, minerals, uh, and we should be reusing it. It's terrible for the environment because we know that um, lithium batteries in particular, as they break apart, leach into the soil, not great for the soil or the environment. And it's better for jobs to recycle, about three recycling jobs, uh, uh, three jobs for uh, recycling compared for every one if you're going uh, into landfills. So better for the environment, better for the economy to recycle. So. Um, the solar industry has been on notice for years. The minister who's interjecting, the deputy leader of the Liberal Party, she's actually an expert in recycling, back bench, front bench, back bench, front bench. Um, she, she put them on notice. She put the solar industry on notice, but they never took any notice of her. So I have said that I will regulate. I will regulate. We are prepared to invest. We've set aside a quarter of a billion dollars for recycling infrastructure, including $60 million for soft plastics. I spoke Order. to the supermarket giants just today about soft plastics and fixing the mess of red cycle. We're prepared to invest and we're prepared to regulate. Those opposite weren't prepared to regulate. We want to help Australians do what they want to do, which is recycle. We know there's very strong support from Australians on recycling. Opposition. We want to make we'll it as easy as possible for them to do that. And that means industry stepping up to do their share. It means being prepared to invest. And it means being prepared to regulate where those opposite weren't. Yeah. Yeah.